Crystal Spire. Eldrathane. Your assistance dealing with the Orcs has not been forgotten. Allow me to repay you by sharing some important and potentially dangerous information. I travel with a Farseer, one of my people who can read the weaves of fate. Her powers have revealed a traitor amongst your Imperial Navy, a captain named Elias Okar. He will betray you soon, during a major battle. If he is not dealt with, his actions may give Abaddon a decisive victory in this war. Why should I trust this vision of the future from a Xenos witch? This man may be a loyal servant of the Emperor. Any who wear the uniform of the Imperial Navy are worthy of it. Heed me, human. That which you call chaos can corrupt even the brightest spirit. I give you this knowledge only because the great enemy threatens us both. Consider it an act of good faith. I will need to consult with the Sector High Strategic Council. Do as you must, human. I am leading my ships to remove this traitor at once. You can either help excise this cancer from your midst or stand in my way. The choice is yours. Lord Admiral, Inquisitor, do you believe that the alien is correct? We have only his word to go on. Captain Elias Okar is a reliable man. He has always fought the enemies of the Emperor. I have heard certain rumors about Captain Okar. He has been far more distant with his crew since the beginning of the war. It seems we must rely on your instincts, Admiral Spire. This Eldar Prince communicates only with you, so we are trusting you to make the correct decision. Well, just getting more and more devious, it seems, or insidious with the plot, because I'm either at risk of being like a puppet for the Eldar, or they can they are genuinely helping me it is worth attempting the risk there cuz hell heresy is everywhere it's it, although it's not a pr it would be nice to have some more facts if nothing else but of course this is all of a sudden on short notice so and uh, the thing is if i deny the eldar basically I, all the effort i put into trying to help them so far is for naught so this is going to suck I'm reluctantly accepting this. Oh, I have to double click to make sure. Eldrathane, I believe we must confront Captain Okar with this accusation. I am pleased you've seen the light of reason, human. My battle group is already on the way to deal with this traitor of yours. I will order my fleet to accompany you. However, I must speak to Captain Okar myself. Very well, human. I agree to your terms. You will soon see his corruption with your own eyes. Uh, and I'm going to guess there's going to be one more mission that takes place over in this nebula. So, uh, that's the assumption I'm making considering there's three different areas here to go to. And then afterwards, I have no clue what happens. My ships are en route to the last known position of Captain Okar's ship. I will give you one chance to convince this traitor to surrender. But if he shows any signs of resistance, my warriors will attack without mercy. The Farseer's visions are not false, Spire. This captain will betray you sooner or later. Do not be fooled by the traitor's lies. So, this is going to be interesting. Is he going to admit to his trait heresy, his willingness to support the Chaos Gods in this battle, or he's going to plead you innocence? That's what I'm interested in finding out. Now, thus. Nonetheless, we have 350 points to utilize, so what is my best option? Sure as hell not taking a Dominator, so I'm going to be sticking with a Gothic, I guess. So that way I can get two light cruisers. Wow, I take that back. I can't even get a light cruiser in here. So my options are really limited. Needless to say... So, can I just go with one cruiser and... Let's see, and I, I'm a few points short of getting an actual frigate, so how do I best get the most out of this? I can go with three light cruisers, I guess, and that doesn't give me points either, well, damn. I am really limiting my choices. 
So the question is, what do I feel most comfortable with? Really, mostly my light cruises there with their power and their high levels, so... And not to mention, I want to get these two level 6s leveled up further, so this might be an opportunity for it. To some extent. Is that what I want? Armor piercing rounds are going to be great. For the... Here, yeah, for more... Against Imperium ships, so... These could be useful, and I have a good load of torpedoes as well as boarding strength, so... I'm stronger on almost every front. Let's see how this works. Let's see how this turns out. Admiral Spire to Captain Elias Okar. Respond. Sir, Captain Okar reporting. You should know an Eldar battle group has been sighted in the area, and my crew is on maximum alert. Lord Admiral Ravensburg and Inquisitor Horst have approved a truce with the Eldar. All Imperial Navy vessels have strict orders not to engage the aliens. Sir, those orders are a disgrace. The Eldar have raided multiple Imperial convoys crossing this area over the last few weeks. These aliens are as much a threat as the Chaos Fleets. The orders stand, Captain. Now heave to, power down your weapons, and prepare to be boarded. The Imperial Navy has grown weak. I will never surrender to Xenos. He seems loyal so far there, but if possible, the objective is to subdue him. The question is, how the hell do I subdue him? Is the real question. That I am curious about, because otherwise, so far, it's just a matter of people either warping out or just dying. Has sent an intercept course for my battle group. What will you do now, human? Negotiations are over. Captain Okar has sealed his fate. And he is conveniently right out in the middle of nowhere. Oh crap. That's a nice way to start, having taken two Nova cans right off the bat. So I am in for a lot of trouble. And as much as I love to isolate this ship, it doesn't look like I'm going to get much of an opportunity with no Eldar fleet to support me. So, but I need to take this opportunity when he has no support. I really need to capitalize on this. And you are going to rotate out of the way, you're going to turn out of the way, and you're going to turn that out. Dodge that plasma bomb. Come on. Perfect. Although I'm a little bit isolated with my, uh, oh crap, they destroyed my generator so I don't even get to utilize my Terminators. This is a really rough start. And I'm not so concerned. I, I, I have to get ready to turn around anyway, because, again, isolate and apparently there's a nerf cruiser I have to deal with. Wow. At least I'm close enough to dodge Nova Cans, but of course... Eldar are unreliable, stupid things. Hot. I don't even think they even use their boosts to try and keep up, which would have been useful. But, I have to... Underway. Yeah, this is an assassination mission anyway, more or less. The only Your difference orders. is he might not actually try to escape. So I do got that going for me. And I don't want to use all my boring attempts, but how the hell am I supposed to seduce the captain, though? That I'm not quite certain of. And I'm already on fire, so this is a good start. I do have arm piercing rounds, but those are only going to do so much. And I need to focus on the captain. Especially before the Eldar do all the work for me, now that they're actually here. And, let's see. Brace for impact. I might as well emergency repair quickly and... Oh, that only, I think that only drained my shield, so... Okay, he proves it. I am completely justified in that choice now. So I do not have to feel bad, I just need a good angle. And since he's kind of like, admitted his heresy... I, I am I don't have to feel guilty about late about killing him now I just need a shot that doesn't involve him my own teammate all right so far so good we're in good position to kill the captain 
And I got more torpedoes on the way. Can I get aboard? Yes, I can. And do I shield transfer? I might as well. If it'll let me. Oh, he does. No generators. Never mind that thought. Damn it. I thought I could boost, and of course, again, generators die, so it. Because I was not able to actually do a lightning strike, so. I should have remembered that. And that torpedo missed spectacularly, I gotta say. We're in good shape, though. This captain's gonna die momentarily. But again, how the hell do you subdue him, is what I'm wondering. That I'm still uncertain about. Well, either way, he's dead, so they, Eldar did a good job wrecking him. Okay, I don't feel nearly as bad now about that choice. But again, that's like a hard mode type of thing. If I keep choosing deny and go without support. Although, I quite frankly enjoy having my own arm, having my own fleet rather than having to be limited based on the fact that I have allies for these battles. Because I don't know where they're going to be deploying, so... It makes it exceptionally difficult to actually plan my next move. My rangers are searching the wreckage of your traitor captain's ship. They tell me that they have found many disturbing signs of his corruption. This traitor turned the temple aboard his ship into a shrine of blood and carnage. Elder Thane, this is a matter for the Inquisition. Pull your warriors back at once. Inquisitional ships are already on their way, alien. You would do well to be gone when they arrive. Well done, Admiral Spire. Your diplomatic skill with the Eldar and exposure of the traitor have strengthened our chances of winning this war. Although, to be honest, I still feel like I'm being played like a puppet a little bit, even if that was the right choice. Nonetheless, we have another planet that has a uh, Terminus on there, and speaking of which, Exterminus, what happened here? Yeah, Brigia is no more. From the looks of it, I guess. Although I still see the traits on here. Uh, I'm trying to understand what happened. Because there was a ter Exterminus on there, wasn't there? And yet, it seems fine, sort of. I'm just not sure. I don't get what's going on. I just know there's an exterminos here I want to try and prevent. And I still have orcs to deal with, which are a bit of a nuisance, but at least I have a cruiser clash. But I need to somehow start pushing back the chaos meter, because that is going. That is a little bit problematic having it filled out there. And Eldar is still harassing, so I'm really hoping they actually consider stop fighting me there. That would be kind of nice. And we got a convoy mission. What the hell is this plant, though? A penal world, which will make me lose troop value. I think that's important for me, considering the amount of ships that I'm using as base marine traits and repair station. So, let me focus on chaos and try and save Orn's world. Still no clue what happened, if the work plant got destroyed or not, or at least they'll all life exterminate. I'm still uncertain what happened there. And I'm scared about this assassination, but at least I can work with this a little bit better than the dumb luck I've been having with that recovery. With enough Space Marine type ships there to kind of board it, and I also got, what is it, radiation field, so messing with my sensors, so I'm going to want a, a Widowmaker, what is it, a Widowmaker there to kind of like give vision for me in that case. I think that's a must. Nonetheless, I love to put my retribution in, get the raw firepower. Well, that's like so much my point value right there, and I just said I want lots of boarding. So, maybe not the best idea. Get lots of space marines to get in there close and personal at least. And with that said, ooh, maybe. Can I possibly get two dominators in these two? Yes, I can. It's going to be interesting, but I have all Space Marines. With, that will give me like 
It's the best opportunity of troop value, at least, if nothing else. Good amount of firepower, two Nova Cans, of course. And, of course, we'll make her to give fission when needed. Because those... These Dahmers actually don't have that long of range, so maybe that's not a big of a deal. But I could at least utilize it to potentially shoot further than the Chaos Fleet. Since I have better means to detect them where they don't. So that could work for me. But nonetheless, an entirely Space Marine favorite fleet is what I'm deploying. And we are fighting a... I'm assuming is a battleship. Another despoiler is it? I don't think I've seen anything that isn't a spoiler, to be honest. So now I gotta chase that thing down. I gotta find it quickly, well, though hiding myself doesn't really do much, considering I'm gonna be boosting it on their ass in a hurry, so maybe that's a bit of a waste. So group these up proper. Group 3, group 4. They're all set, and Widowmaker, you're going in there to try to get fission for me. The spot as early as possible. Enemy ship sighted. Well, I, I guess I already spotted and is a despoiler. So, so, which means it has like what four? Ooh, this one's completely different. Oh, it's a desolator, not a despoiler. Resuming normal a functions. completely different battleship altogether. Lots of lance batteries, torpedoes, even, so that's gonna be a different Awaiting twist. Orders. And at the very least, I can use this Widowmaker to kind of spot the ship if it goes in a nebula cloud. I guess that's what I have going for me. Nonetheless, I'm charging in there quickly. I'm only going to get one quick use of my Nova Cans, though. And I don't... Oh, and I don't... Wow, my micro warp drives are going to be useless here. This is going to suck because of the range. Oh, come on. I was hoping to dodge the plasma bomb. It did not work out. That was a mistake. That was a bit of a mistake, wasn't it? Now, can I Nova Cannon? I might as well try to. Yes. I, although, I gotta turn around first for it. First one was a beautiful hit, though. Second one, not so much. Now, just go charge in there. I don't care about stinking frigates. They got nothing on me, as you can clearly see. Now I gotta make sure my fuel reserves stay up as much as possible. And I have two minutes now to stop it. And it's kind of stuck in place, so let me take this opportunity to torpedo it. Because why the hell not, huh? If it's gonna make it easy for me, I'll happily oblige. Oh, now you decide to move your buggy thing. Torpedoes could still very well hit, though. Two of them hit. I'll take it. I'll happily take that. And, let's see. Time to charge in there do some more damage. I don't care about this one cruiser, but... This one's going to take a bit of a beating. And I want to save my warp, my lightning strikes, my boring parties until it tries to warp out. Or if I can kill the generators, then I'll have a little more leeway, in theory. Understood. I just need more torpedoes, which I'm not going to get, but I can Nova can. Get another shot off at point-blank range, I like it. These ones are not exactly going to hit, unfortunately. That one will. Ooh. Almost dead center hit. I don't care about that damn cruiser. Oh wait, I'm hitting the wrong button, damn it. I was hitting X instead of Z for the all stop. And it was not paying off. Now, can I torpedo this thing? Let me get a nice torpedo off. There, that seems good. Dodge this. Everything got getting close because it's going to jump in another minute. Ideally. And with armor piercing rounds, I can do a lot of damage. And it's a battleship, it can't go that fast, right? It goes 150, that thing's still mobile. This thing's still pretty mobile, so I gotta be careful. But, now that I got a perfect bronze opportunity, let's do some more, uh... Melta torpedoes, shall we? 
let's really start to wear this thing down. And if it's going to keep boosting away, I can keep hanging with Novacan, so I'm okay with this. Let me just get my bronze side piss. Oh, crap. It, well, it was nice knowing you, Widowmaker. May your death be for a noble cause of purging the heretic. And shields just conveniently came back up. Go figure. So, plasma bomb. Got another plasma. No, I just got a beacon here, actually. So, let's just get ready to board this thing quickly. Because, yeah. Another thing I had not considered was the fact my lightning strikes actually are limited by this my sensor range. And if I have no sensor range, I cannot warp on them. Like right in goddamn now. Activating tactical cogitators. So come on guys, hit it. I need that hit. Leave the space marines to not get the job done. Oh my god. Oh, thank god it did cancel the the warp in, if only barely, so I need to somehow kill this thing, I guess, before it warps again. Because of the excessive amount of warpins I just had to do. So, I... Why does it seem like my ships aren't even shooting? These things were designed for close quarter combat and they're not shooting. I don't know why it doesn't seem to be working as effectively as I want. And my cruisers just did a double whammy there. I don't know how I feel about this. The good news, generators just got destroyed. Perfect. So there is still hope for me yet. Let me try and lock on and maximize my damage potential here. Because now, I'm pretty much in range to do full damage. And I think my poor... Oh, it's starting to warp out again. Please kill this thing. It is so close to death, I just have no way to actually kill it proper, can I? Oh my god, one salvo is going to dictate this, isn't it? Oh, thank god it's destroyed just at the last possible second. Whew, that was close. I don't know how long it would have took to warp out with the generators gone, but still, if those generators had not been destroyed, it was probably about two seconds away from getting out. That is not a situation you want to be put under. Uh, needless to say. Dominator's level 6 though, my level 4 Dominator still has a ways to go. And of course level 8 and the level 7 Dauntless is still need a crap ton of battles before they can level up again, so should not expect them to get their extra level anytime soon. But I can be thankful that actually was a success. Those cursed missions, I hate them. I hate the data recovery is made obvious with uh, my poor uh, missions with, as of late with those, and assassination is almost always going to result the same. Only a little more, a lot more RNG, I would say, because of the chances I can't stop the warp jump. So there's always that. Especially if they, up, they randomly have the upgrade to make them harder to cancel their warp. Like there's an upgrade that increases the troop value when I try to lightning strike them and stop their warp. So that is not nice. That is not enjoyable for me. And let's see, Dominator level 6 also got an upgrade, so. I would like to focus on its close range potential. Because these are standard macro batteries, aren't they? Yep. 6,000. So it doesn't hurt to get that. Extra teleport team sound great as well. So I think I'm going to do that first. Also, I have my level 4 Dominator, which I guess was upgrade 4. just wasn't able to utilize it. I gave him efficient plasma thrusters, which I gone into t picking those thinking they gave me a more speed, but I don't think that's actually the case. Yeah, the combustion gauge, so I probably misread that, so... With that said, do I actually want to grab that? Probably not. I'm just going to get extra teleportarium for this one as well. And maybe I'll swap out that module at some point, since I think I actually have that option too, right? 
Yeah, I have the ability to unfit it, but it would cost more renown to upgrade, which I am not fond of doing just yet. Because after all, my battleship needs its favor and I need to still upgrade to Mars, don't I? Let's see. Level 7 Dauntless, what? Okay, Rannings and Servitors, so upgrade the Rannings. Dauntless, let's see, okay, they're both same level, so Ma Master Gunner and I don't care about the Navigator, so let's upgrade the Commissar finally for this one. Unless I want to upgrade the Tech Priest, which I don't think I want to do. Servitors could be a possibility too if it reduces the cooldown time on the orders, so that could be a useful thing to consider at some point. And I am just a little bit short of getting the extra module for this Mars, but at least I'm almost caught up on my upgrades at this point. Let's just not pay attention to all these mo upgrades I, for my frigate, shall we? Trust me, it's way too expensive to try and be a completionist. Especially at this point. Maybe after I get my favor for my retribution. But that will still be for a while yet.